it's time for the Southern Scene, and we've got you covered. We literally have you covered from head to toe, hair to heels. It's all about fashion in downtown Savannah at Savannah's Fashion Night Out. Get ready. The Southern Scene starts now. Art, entertainment, food, fashion, and fun. Now, here's Natalie Hendricks with the Southern Scene. Well, hello everybody and welcome to the Southern Scene. I'm WSAV's Natalie Hendricks. Well, you guessed it, I'm on Broughton Street. It's a big, big event. Savannah's Fashion Night Out happening in downtown Savannah. And not even rain could put a damper on this event. And of course, our Southern Scene cameras are all over the place covering this big event. It's all about fashion, retail, designers, and of course, the entertainment. And don't forget, a whole lot of shopping. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you really ready? Yeah. All right, let's have fun for fashion night. Well, the reality is Savannah is the fashion capital of the world. It's a great way for us to spotlight uh, Broughton Street, our many retailers here, all the wonderful things that we're having, and we're not Mayberry anymore. We are a town of fashionistas, and this proves it. I mean, look at all these people. It's a beautiful event. Our Southern Scene crew chose Chive tonight as we decided to fuel up for Savannah's big night, Savannah's Fashion Night Out. And I'm with Ellie Tran, who is the owner of Chive. Hi, Ellie. How are you? Oh, good. How are you doing? What a great night tonight and a lot of people in here. Yes. Wonderful. So what do you think about tonight? Events like the Savannah's Fashion Night Out. How important is this for the city of Savannah? Oh, it's truly important because everybody comes together in one street in downtown and we all have fun together. You know, of course, we're celebrating Savannah's Fashion Night Out, and all of the retailers are really excited about that. But it's not all about fashion. I mean, really, all of the retailers really benefit on a night like this. Oh, yes, absolutely. Sales go up for today. This really is hopefully an opportunity to showcase to maybe a new audience or a returning audience, you know, a clientele that sees this as something that is beneficial. She may think that they're 18 and above or 15 and above, but they come in all shapes and sizes. And this little one, she was on the runway tonight, and it's Ava Johnson from Reedsville. Hi, Ava. Did you have a good time tonight? Yes. What was it like being on the runway? Oh, no. <laughs> it was exciting. What was your favorite thing about tonight? It was walking on the runway, and I got my chance to be in the spotlight. Your chance to be in the spotlight. And you know, that's what it's all about here at Savannah's Fashion Night Out. We've been involved right from the beginning, first year, four years ago. It started out quite small. This one I think is going to be the biggest yet. It's going to be fantastic. We've got a whole lot of extra sponsorship and coverage this time. And for us, it just means an opportunity to boost sales at a fairly low time of the year. So we go straight from Labor Day into this, and it's maybe anything between twice as much and three times as much revenue as we would normally expect on the day after Labor Day. This year we've launched Baby Fish, which is the little girls' clothing range, so we have more of doing that as well. It's great exposure for us. It's a big event and a lot going on here. Let me tell you, Savannah's Fashion Night Out. When you look at the runway models, you know, probably the last thing on your mind is foot health. I mean, it's true, a nice pair of heels can definitely tie together the perfect outfit. But here's the thing, it may be doing more damage than you can imagine. Women seem to love their high heels. 
You can't go to a party without heels. That just makes your outfit, the shoes. High heels may look good, but what they're doing to our feet is anything but pretty. High heels can cause stress fractures, tendinitis, all types of bone spurs, and also it can um, encourage bunion and hammer toe formation. It can also affect other parts of the body. When the body weight goes to the ball of your foot, the whole skeleton really has to compensate. So the knees and the hips jet forward and then your back has to hyperextend backwards. This completely malaligns not just your foot, but the entire skeleton. This could lead to arthritis, long-term pain, and joint pain. Still, most women don't want to give up their shoe lust. I'm 32 and I'm bunion free and I've been wearing heels my whole life, so I'm gonna still rock them. The American Podiatric Medical Association recommends that women wear heels no higher than two inches. So the best solution may be to wear heels in moderation and pack a pair of flats. You know, a lot of great fashions here tonight, and it's true. You know, when you think of outfits, well, they can definitely fall flat without the proper accessories. I mean, when you think about it, there are a lot of outfits out there that definitely sparkle. But, you know, when it comes to diamonds, well, diamonds may be a girl's best friend, but they've come a long way since your grandmother's rings, and colored diamonds are the latest trend, and they're brightening up the runway. Colored diamonds come from the same place as white diamonds, except colored diamonds are much more rare. There's only maybe 2% of uh, colored diamonds against the 98% of white diamonds. And it's only certain mines that the colored diamonds come from. From South Africa, Brazil, and a lot of it come from Australia. Diamonds come in many different colors. In yellow, we have brown diamonds. Diamonds do come in rare colors as blue. Of course, diamonds do come in pink and green, purple, and the most rarest color is red. Color diamonds are natural diamonds. There are treated color diamonds. Nowadays, you can treat anything, and, and you could take a white diamond and just treat it into the pink or blue. The true value wouldn't be there. The natural color that comes out from the ground is where the value is. Out of all the colored diamonds, you'll find much more in yellow than anything else. The more rare the color, the more expensive it is, of course. And the way it's valued is how much of it is available in the market. Compared to white diamonds, the pricing could be anywhere between 15 to 20 times more per carat. Most important is the color when it comes to colored diamonds. The more saturated color is more desired, and then it's the cut and then it's clarity, and then it's shape. For example, I have a vivid purple pink. It's a 10 karat 09. Because of the color and because how deep it is, because of the word vivid, and because it's over 10 carats, it's $25 million. I have a five carat vivid blue emerald cut, which is very, very rare. I haven't seen a second one. And that could go up to $18 million. We have a large or vivid yellow diamond, 75 carat, retails for $9 million. For the past maybe 10 years, people really got to know colored diamonds. After you buy all the white diamonds, what you're looking at is the yellow diamonds, and then it's pink and blue and everything else. People invest into colored diamonds, and prices always go down, especially since 2005 to 2006. I would say prices doubled within five, six years. Okay, coming up next on the southern scene, you know those high runway fashions? Well, they may seem widely expensive. Well, believe me, some of them are. Well, stay with us because coming up next, we're going to show you just how easily you can fit high fashion into your budget. Don't change that channel. It's the big event. This is where it's all happening in downtown Savannah. You guessed it. It's Savannah's Fashion Night Out, and Savannah is dressed to the nines. Welcome back to the Southern Scene on WSAV and My LC. You know, when it comes to high fashion, well, a lot of us like celebrity style. But let's face it, not all of us are rich and famous. But here's the thing. You can still get that high fashion, that celebrity look, without the celebrity budget. 
Hi, I'm Pandora Amaratis, Style Director of OK Magazine. Today I'm going to talk to you about red carpet trends and how you can achieve them at home. Now we're seeing a lot of really fresh faces on the red carpet, minimal makeup, and just glowing, radiant, beautiful skin. Now, any great beauty look starts with good skin care and well hydrated skin. My go-to is Aveeno Positively Radiant. They have a daily moisturizer with broad spectrum SPF 15, which has soy, which evens out the skin tone and texture. It reflects light and visibly smooths imperfections. The trick to amazing makeup is lighting and diffusion. So if you can start with your moisturizer, you're already in good shape. I also love the Aveeno Daily Moisturizer. It'll keep you hydrated for 24 hours. Uh, both of these products are hyperallergenic, non-comedogenic. You can find them at drugstores, so they're very easily accessible. Now with fashion, we're seeing a lot of sleeveless dresses, a lot of plunging necklines, and a lot of leg. And the first step is a moisturizing shave gel. Give your legs a little TLC with Skintimate Mandarin Burst. It's a moisturizing formula of vitamin E and olive butter, protects and nourishes your skin while you're shaving. It also has a refreshing scent of mandarins, lemons, and limes. Use it with your Chic Quattro for Women razors. They give you such a smooth shave. You can actually skip a day or two. They have a limited edition coral handle, so they're really pretty. Uh, they have What makes them so special is that they have four ultra-thin blades and two conditioning strips enriched with papaya and pearl complex. It also has a pivoting head, which kind of rotates to your curves and contours, giving you a really close, comfortable shave. Now, for hair that we do want, when it comes to celebs, we're seeing a departure from that pixie cut that a lot of them are rocking, and we're seeing more long, glamorous, beautiful, long hair. A hairstylist's a secret is Alterna Hair Care Caviar Repair Lengthening Hair and Scalp Elixir. It helps maintain long, beautiful hair by purifying the root, nourishing the scalp, and hydrating strands to prevent breakage. 94% of women have said that their hair feels stronger in just two weeks, free of parabens, free of sulfates and phthalates, which means they're the best. You can find them at alternahealthcare.com, at Sephora, and at fine salons nationwide. Now lastly, nails. And the go-to on and off the red carpet brand is Essie. A lot of natural, elegant looking nails, especially at the Emmy Awards. Uh, Sarah Hyland had a beautiful rose gold tip. Uh, or a lot of celebs are doing a sheer layer of glitter over a neutral nail. Cocktails and coconuts and ported bubbly are really popular colors with celebs. We also saw a lot of deep, rich shades, which are really popular for fall. Uh, Essie came out with a collection called Dress to Kilt to help you achieve this look. For any other details or style tips, go to okmagazine.com. You know, if you're going to spend money on diamonds, finely manicured nails, well, they may be the perfect complement. Now, here's the thing. You can spend money on a perfect manicurist to get that great look that you're looking for. But here's the thing. Fashion's latest nail trend, it's all about DIY or doing it yourself. It's all about neon on your nails for summer. They're bright, they're energetic, and they're so versatile. All you need for the first look, according to nail expert Tom Baycheck, are a few colorful polishes. We're going to start with our base color, two coats of white. Now, white is hot for summer, fall, all year long, and it really works great on helping these neons to pop. Next, bring out your inner artiste and brush on the color. All you have to do is get rid of all the excess polish out of the brush, and then pick sides of the nails, and using the bristles, come across the nail to give you streaks of color. The more imperfect it is, the more perfect it is. You want it to have like heavier areas and lighter areas. Add a high gloss top coat and fix any mistakes with an old makeup brush. Use it in remover and just go right around the cuticle area and clean up any of those colors that might have gotten on the skin. The next look starts with a soft pink base. We're going to let this dry completely and then using just simple scotch tape, we're going to mask off our design, add our color and we're finished. Fill in the triangles with neon hues, then remove the tape. And there you have it, an Art Deco design. Okay, we're still here on Broughton Street. It's where it's all happening at Savannah's Fashion Night Out. Don't go away. Coming up next, we're going to show you more of the latest trends when we come back. Stick around. This is where it's all happening. We're still here on Broughton Street, Savannah's Fashion Night Out. It is exciting. And you know,
our Southern Scene cameras are here to cover it all. Welcome back, everybody, to WSAV and my LC, the Southern Scene. You know, it's a great, great night, and we're here exploring the greatest fashions right here in downtown Savannah. The stylists are here, the designers, the fashion gurus. And here's the thing. If you're looking to sport that great high fashion, don't be timid or shy. Just remember the latest beauty trends. It's all about being vibrant and rebellious. This summer is all about trying new wild beauty trends. Makeup guru Michelle Fawn demonstrates how easy they are to DIY. First up, double up on the eyeliner. Double eyeliner trend is when you're wearing two eyeliners instead of one, two different eyeliner colors or two different eyeliner textures. Step one, line your eyes as close to the lash line as possible with a dark color. The next step is to either use a shimmering color or a bright pop of color. Layer your favorite shade of liner on the top like this one from Lorac, and there you have it, the perfect look for a hot summer night out. A trend made popular by Demi Lovato. It's hair chalk. Hair chalk is just an easy way to change up your hair without committing to dyeing it. First step is to cover yourself up because it might get a little messy. Start at the ends and color as much as you like. Because I have darker hair, um, colors like a blue and a red shows up better. But if you have lighter hair like blonde hair, any color, it's going to be really easy. Set it with hairspray to finish, simple as that. Finally, floral manicures are a big trend this summer. Start out by putting on two coats of nail polish. After the second coat, then you start adding the dried flowers on top of it. Now make sure the paint is still wet and use tweezers to apply dried flowers. Add a top coat and your floral mani is finished. You know, Broughton Street really is the place to be tonight for Savannah's Fashion Night Out. You know, when you think of fashion and the fashion trends, well, they change with every season. Let's take a look and see what the latest trends that are appearing here for this event. Technology. Well, you may think that technology doesn't have a place when it comes to fashion, but without the lights and the sounds, well, let's just be honest, there would be no spectacle. And 3D printing, well, they found a way to invade the fashion world. That's true, and it's making shopping even a whole lot more convenient. This might look like your typical fashion show, but here's the catch. We're not here to see designers like Oscar de la Renta or Versace. The designers we're seeing today have names like MakerBot and Adobe. And the items you see on this runway, they were 3D printed. It could actually be a revolutionary turning point for a lot of the way that clothes are not only envisaged, but worn and made. The garments and accessories you're looking at weren't sewn, they were printed. I think that the crossover between materials and technology is is happening right now. 3D printing is a technology that lets you digitally scan a design and then print a physical object layer by layer. The items are generally made of plastic. They can be so much more intricate and they have the potential to be so much more intricate material-wise and shape-wise um, when you're able to design it. This season, designers sent their models strutting down the runway in 3D printed gowns equipped with 3D printed undergarments. I have a corset, a train, and a skirt all together. But let's be honest, no outfit is complete without shoes. Well, I think the really exciting thing about this is kind of like, it's a little bit like iTunes for your feet, but maybe five years before it's, it's there. So at some point, yes, you will be able to just 
put your, right, your foot size in, choose a pair of shoes or a garment or a hat that'll be exactly the right size just for you. The clothing came from computers. Some of the people lining the runway were wearing them as well. It's a growing trend. Recently, a Victoria's Secret model got 3D printed angel wings for the company's annual fashion show. The technology allows designers to try new ideas on their computers before okay. printing the actual physical clothing. At the moment, a haute couture outfit um, is very exclusive, but what if with a body scan you could have your own individually custom made item of clothing? It's part of a trend designers call computational fashion. Computational fashion is already quite um, a developed field of practice, but we want to show that this is more than just a method of design. For designers experimenting with 3D printing, the technology is a canvas for creativity. And it allows you to do things that you couldn't do through standard fabrication processes. So things that are too intricate for the hand, you know, down to tenths of a millimeter in size, things that are, have too many undercuts, which is a technical term for trying to make something through a mold.